You could board make a tornado. Uh, okay, what you need is a humidifier that works with a hole big enough for um some some just plastic holes to go through. Cut about mu that much holes. You, you need a, a dark binder, optional if you want, unless you have dark carpet, which works too. Just avoid hardwood because that'll get it wet. Because you can see how wet this is already. And maybe a second binder if you want. And a fan. Okay, to start out with. All you need is one binder. If you just want to do a small one. Small binder. Okay, let's. All you need, you need a two speed fan that has both low, high and low. Which, uh, yeah. Unless one's just really good. Okay. You know, a small fan like this. Alright. Then put your fan on high and put it towards the towards the edge of the pipe. As long as when the pipe is pumping the stuff. Okay, like that, and cock it at an angle. And you should get a small tornado. It might be hard to see, but it's there and stuff, so... I just figured this out on my own. Don't ask me why, just ask me how. Let's see, there's a good one. But this way doesn't make very good tornadoes. So with your second binder, pop it up like this, make sure one edge goes like that and stuff. And now the second binder on the bottom right here is optional. You don't really need that unless you want to see the bottom of the tornado. And this makes really good tornadoes, so right here it should form right in here. Now you set the fan over the over the corner about you know right here ish and then you see that tornado see how I'm holding the fan okay let me get a good grip on the camera okay. beautiful tornado Now you can move the fan around and stuff. Find a way that works best. I just love that. Okay, if, if, even if you if you put it higher, then the tornado will uh, it'll dance around a little and get skinnier. And now let's put it on low. When you put it on low, it gets slower and thicker. But I just love that way it looks like a tube. And make sure the pump is pumping from the corner. And stop. So, to the bottom. If you put it up higher, it'll move around, but it might eventually collapse depending on how high your fan is and how powerful your fan is. Just blow on it and it'll, and it'll come back. I like, you could also use dry, this, the, uh, the mist from a dry, from dry ice for this, but I just like the humidifier because it's, uh, uh, less expensive and stuff, and, and the supply of the water mist is a lot easier. And if you put it lower, it'll get faster, and more close to the corner, but harder to see.
This is my most favorite way to make one. Okay, let's just turn this fan off. Okay, there. And watch it collapse. Alright, another way is, uh, but probably a more expensive and time-taking way, is to make a box with slits on the side. I used wood. Um, I was helped with making this. Can add plexiglass on one part. Use wood glue to, m to make it stick. And you pump the stuff in from one of these slits, and it'll come in. If you have a real good fan, you can use feathers. And feathers will spin around, and that's pretty cool, too. But you can also do the same kind of thing with these. If I could just show you. Except it'll have slits on only two parts. Like this. Remember, all you need is just two little binders. Uh, the uh, books and stuff could work, but I just like binders just because they're, uh, the paper with, it, with books won't get wet. Just make sure they're empty and stuff. But then put the fan on high, put it over, and it'll start rotating. And, but the vortex just isn't as cool. And there it is. And it doesn't work very well either. So you just put it back to the way it was. Like that. And get a grip on the fan. And you make your tornado again. Now, there's also another vortex over here. It's just not as easy to see. The flowing of that humidity pump thing uh, helps create this vortex, this tornado right here. And if, and if you want, you could even grab a little feather, something out there. I'm going to have to put the fan down. And turn the fan off. Wipe away the wet stuff with your hand or something on there. And you know, I'll just use an old hat just because. Okay, set your feather down where you think the vortex will start. Put your fan back on high. Change here. And set it back there. You can put it real low if you want, and it'll go real fast. Looks like I should move the feather. Let's move it back that way. Put it back. And it might be a little wet, but if you but if you're just starting this, the feather uh, will might fly. It could fly around and stuff, and it's pretty neat. If only I had a third hand or a tripod, but I can't find a tripod. So. Well, but there's your tornado for you. Make it higher. Real cool. I just figured this out on my own. I didn't do anything else. I was just bored one day and I, and I figured it out. But it's really beautiful and I love it.